announcement to make. Uh, it was just announced uh, that my first guest has sold an album every 15 seconds for the last 40 years. Quite an accomplishment. His latest is called right here, Across My Heart. And you can see him this weekend at Bally's Wild West Casino in Atlantic City. I'll be there. You'll be there. Please welcome uh, the gambler, uh, Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Oh, sure. Very nice of you yeah. to be here. And that statistic is kind of a crazy one. What is that? Every every 15 seconds for the last 40 years. What happened? We've sold... Uh, they, they put out a thing in USA Today about, I guess, six months ago, what it was. That, and it had me down at 30 million albums. And I knew it was more than that, but I didn't know how many. So the record company researched it for me. And it's at 80 million albums. And some mathematician sent us this thing that took 80 million albums over the 40 years I've been in the business right. and broke it down. And it's one every 15 seconds for 40 years. So if two people tried to buy one at the same time, they'd be arrested. Is that the idea? A, there was a 30-second gap <laughs> after that. Uh-huh, yeah. Very Incidentally, you owe me an apology letter, too. I, what? If you sing The Gambler one more time... <laughs> And somewhere in the darkness, the gambler keep on even. Just before he left, I found it's a key. He must have found. He's a lot. He's a lot like a little kid. It's like, don't you go out in that street. He's gone. You know? Don't say, don't do something. I particularly like the little Japanese part at the end. What's the little thing right before the high note? And I must have not. Yeah, I got that off some record somewhere. It wasn't it wasn't mine. Kenny, okay, I don't know what you're bitching about. I gotta live here. <laughs> I do get to go home. Yeah, though. you get to go home. <laughs> you get to go home once a week. That's yeah. true. Uh, you know, we should congratulate you. Uh, you got married since uh -huh. we saw you last. Ah, congratulate you, man. That's very nice. That's very exciting. It is. This is exciting. You, uh, you, you had an outdoor wedding. Is that what happened? Well, we had it scheduled to go outdoors. I have a farm in Athens, Georgia, and I used to raise Arabian horses, and I have this barn that's 90,000 square feet. It's two acres under roof. Wait a minute, wait a minute. A two-acre barn? Yeah. It, is it that had... so the horses can play ice hockey? I mean, what's... <laughs> <laughs> well, it did have a swimming pool for the horses. <laughs> well, okay. It did. It had a circular swimming pool for the horses. I've never heard of a two-acre barn. That's yeah, madness. It's, it, it is kind of stupid, I have to admit. It's a, <laughs> a lot of money and no return. But So we were going to have it outdoors from that, where I used to have this, uh, where we would have all our shows. And we had, I built this beautiful gazebo that was 30 feet tall. and I mean, it was spectacular. And the day before, it rained during the rehearsal. So the day of the wedding, Wanda said, you know, it would just be tragic if we're out there. And it rained. And I said, she said, let's take it indoors. So we literally, the day of the wedding, went indoors and built a gazebo and had this thing inside the barn. You guys had a gazebo raising inside your barn for the wedding. <laughs> And, and, and so everyone was in a barn? I mean, weren't it's, there animals? It, it's kind and... of a misnomer because inside this barn is a 120 by 240 foot riding ring. And what, since I don't raise horses anymore, I have a half court basketball court in there. So we, ha we set everything up on the basketball court. So you court. can't really have, an I mean, a cow would get hit with a foul shot yeah, or something. I you can't, have, yeah, you I can't have real animals in there. You'd want to be real careful with that, I think. It's really not a barn at all, is it? It's your luxury complex. <laughs> It, barn it is, is a, a bar misnomer. A barn is a misnomer, but it, in the strictest sense, it is a barn. Okay, well, congratulations Thank on you. getting married. And I'm curious about something. You have very devoted and loyal fans. Some of them are a little crazy. I was curious, yeah. what's the craziest thing that a fan has ever done to you, ever? The craziest thing? I don't know. I, I think probably the most surprising thing is, oh, this was 20 years ago, 25 years ago. I was with the first edition, and we were working in Sacramento at the California State Fair, and I'm on stage, and I'm singing Something's Burning. And I played electric bass at the time. Mm -hmm. And I'm playing this, and I've got my eyes shut, and I'm singing. And all of a sudden, I feel someone tugging at my fly. And I look down, and there's a girl. Now, there's 10,000 people is a, here. This is, this is a hardcore fan. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. In a manner of speaking, yes. <laughs> So, Ladies and gentlemen, this show is free, so yeah. I don't know what you're bitching about. <laughs> you know. Literally, my, my fly had been unzipped, 
and she zipped my fly back up in the middle of the song. Oh, she was zipping it she up. She was zipping it up, yes. Oh. And, and, and so, I mean, it was shocking to say the least. So after it was over, after the song was over, I unzipped it and went to the other side of the stage and said, I'm not sure you guys really saw what happened. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you put on a good yeah. show, oh. Kenny. The, uh, what, um, is it true that, uh, I heard that you, you know, in your free time now that, uh, You've been doing some dangerous stuff. I hear you got a little bit of a death wish. Well, it's not a death wish. I mean, there are things I've wanted to do all my life, and I think the older you get, the more you realize you're running out of time to do them. And I was in New Zealand. Juan and I were in New Zealand about, I guess, six months ago. And, and we went to the place where bungee jumping originated. And I watched about eight people do it. And I, you would do it in a heartbeat, wouldn't you? It's a, uh, a long well, heartbeat, but a heartbeat. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> My heartbeats are spaced out about three years apart. <laughs> Very low metabolism. But I got out there, and, and I watched about six or eight guys do it, and I thought, well, they didn't get hurt. Why should I get hurt? So I went out, and I made this bungee jump, and it was 143 feet. It's like a 14-story building. And you jump off of this, and you literally go head first into the Shotover River, which is a, a beautiful river in New Zealand. You actually go into the river? I did. I'm not sure you're supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like something went a little wrong. No, it, they asked me beforehand if I wanted to. Oh, and they make a slight adjustment. Yeah, they have a tension adjustment. There. What are you thinking as you're... As you're I that, just, the slight <laughs> adjustment's probably like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got no idea. I would want to make sure. Yeah. That's I would, maybe two times. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Really talk to that tension adjustment guy. Well, so, so, uh, wh I mean, what are you thinking on the way down? That's I've never done it, and I would never do it. I'm it, a, a physical oh, coward. But you have but, to. It is one of the most. No, you don't have to. No, I guess you have to. <laughs> I, I must admit, it was not mandatory. But when I jumped, the the guy told me, he said, if you'll, the best way to jump is literally to commit to it. Jump straight out because when you get to about here the rope tightens up and it's you literally it's like a rubber band drops you into the water yeah, i would want the rope to tighten <laughs> yeah, yeah I mean. it, it was i must say it was a great feeling when did it did you tightened. get you weren't but you weren't scared as you were going down as you were plummeting no i mean not originally i think i have that stupid kind of spontaneous courage that like would jump off of a building and say oh my god what have i done you know but you, <laughs> You have to say so, it kind of fast, though, when you right. jump. It's, It'd be a bad suicide. Oh, yeah. my God. You know, no, but, I didn't want to do it. No. <laughs> I changed my mind. Yeah. But the next day... I wasn't even depressed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so to, the, uh, and then I understand you went to... Or you're planning to go to Africa? You went to Africa? Well, to, I've been to Africa, and uh, I'm going to go back. That's where we're going to go on our honeymoon. We were going to go to the Bahamas. And then someone informed me that June 1st, which is the day we got married, happens to also be the opening of hurricane season in the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. So that didn't sound like a very smart move on a boat in the hurricane season. No. So we're, we're going to go to, she wants to go see the migration of the animals in, in October. I'm a photographer, so we're going to go down in October. That'll be our honeymoon. Are you going to migrate with the animals? Are you going to walk along with them? Right along with them. Yeah. Take a backpack. Does along. that disturb their <laughs> migration, the fact that Kenny Rogers is walking along? <laughs> I think it's Kenny Rogers. <laughs> I know. Now, actually, what you end up doing is you take a hot air balloon and go over the top of them. So, I mean, it that would be more distracting to an antelope. <laughs> Kenny sure. Rogers is in a balloon. <laughs> Let's follow him. Uh, you got to, uh, you know, we didn't get to, to do this this time, but you got to come back sometime and, and sing for us. Will you do okay. that? Yeah, I will. Yeah, we I would will. like you to sing for us. Because, you know what? I actually, I looked into it, Kenny. People prefer you singing over me singing, actually. No. Yeah, we looked into it. So some to come back and sing for us. Uh, the CD, uh, Across My Heart, is, uh, is available everywhere. And uh, this Friday and Saturday, you're at Bally's Wild West Casino in Atlantic City. And you put on one hell of a show, Mr. Thank Kenny you. Rogers. Thanks, Thank sir. you so much for you coming. Thank Good you. Good to have you here. Kenny Rogers, everybody. Weasel and Ahmed Zappa are coming up. The chemistry will be amazing.